Okay, so in this video we're just going to do a little bit more on variables and types and also start to look at the arithmetic operators that we can use in Python to perform some of the basic arithmetic that you, you will already be able to do. Now an operator is simply a symbol used to indicate that a particular operation is to be performed. For example, the plus sign, the minus sign. But let's look at that in just a second. So let's do a little bit more on uh, some variables. So let's just say we want a program that is going to add two numbers together. So in previous programs, we have put number one is there and number two is there. Now I can say to print number one plus number two. And if I save that program, and if I run it, you'll see that I get my answer of 10. But I do want to expand that program to allow me to enter the numbers that I'm going to, going to um, store. So rather than saying number one and two equals five, what I'm going to say this time is that number one equals an input from the user. And as you say, it says read a string from a standard input. So what I'm going to say there is please enter number one. Let's just make a thing there. I'm going to do the same for number two. Number two. So if I save that and run my program again. This time I can type in the, so I type in the same numbers again, so let's go with eight and two. Now you'll see I've actually got the number of 82. Now the reason for this is that the input command takes it in as a string. And remember that a string is a alphanumeric text. So the computer, Python, is treating them like text. So when we put in eight and two, it's adding eight and two together, which is actually concaten which is a term called concatenation. Is basically a term used to uh, mean that we add text together and we'll deal a little bit more with that in a second but what we need to do is we need, need to tell Python that we are taking in numbers and to do this we're going to use a predefined function so that's just a, pro a function that's already been written for us and and is already available to us in Python and we're going to say that it is an int of a whole function so basically the int function is going to take all of that, so all of that input command, and make sure that it's treated as an integer, which is a number with no decimal point. So I'm just going to do the same on the bottom there. I'm just going to save that program, and then over in this window, I'm just going to. Run. So if I put in the same number again of 8 and 2, this time you'll see I actually get 10. Now the trouble is, if I run this program, but this time put in 6.5, you'll see that it breaks or it crashes. And what it says is invalid literal for int with base 10 6.5. What this means is it's convinced that you're trying to deal with integer numbers and it can't deal with the fact that there's a decimal point there. So what we'll do is we'll turn the integer variable into a real number. Now Python does refer to these as floats. So if we turn that function into the float function, again, save it and run it. And we're just going to put in the exact 6.5 and 2.3. So I should get an answer there of 8.8. .8. So that, now the plus sign there is what we refer to as an arithmetic operator. So this will add the two numbers together. So what we'll do is we shall go over some more arithmetic op op operators and look at the other operations that can be performed. Okay, so we've looked at the addition uh, op operator, which is taking in two numbers and adds them together. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave some comment lines in here. So it's using the hash symbol. So this will add the two variables together. Now what we're going to do is subtract them. So what we'll do now is say print number one 
minus number two. So let's save that and run the program. So we're going to put in five and two. So we'll see that five plus two is seven and five take away two is 3.0. However, I may want to assign this calculation to, to another variable. So what I'm going to say there is answer equals number one plus number two. So the two contents of the variable added together. And that way I can change that to answer. And what I'm going to do is just copy and paste that up there. And this will subtract the variables. And again, what I can do now is just say that answer equals number one minus number two. And that way I can just change this program here to answer. So if I just run that program there, now we see it getting valid syntax error. Now the reason we're going to get that invalid syntax error is because I didn't close the bracket to the print command, the print function. Now, this is a deliberate error because it's one that's made a lot in Python. Anytime you open a bracket, you always have to close it. And what you'll see is idle actually tries to highlight the bracket that it's closing. Because if I go up here and see that if I accidentally left a bracket open there, if I put in a bracket, you'll see that it highlights from there all the way to there. So it's telling me that this is the, the bracket that is closing for me. So if I just, again, save my program and run it, and I'm just going to use the same numbers before, five and two, you'll see you get the exact same results. But it could be a little bit more user-friendly, but we'll deal with that in a minute or two. So I'm going to use multiplication. So this will multiply the numbers together. And the operator for that is the asterisk, which is shift in the eight key. And again, it's a good idea to always run our program, just to check. And I'm just going to continue to use the same numbers this time. So yep, five times two is 10. Now we'll use the divide sign next. And the key, the operator for the divide sign is the slash key. So we just save this program and run it. So five and two again. So yep, five plus two is seven, five take away two is three, five multiplied by two is 10, and five divided by two is 2.5. The only other one we're gonna look at is, this will raise the power of, this will raise variable one to the power of variable two. So this will raise number one to the power of number two. So if we type in five and two, what this is going to be is five to the power of two. Now the operator for that is a double multiply. Now, this should give us five to the power of two, which is the same as five times five. So we just run this program here. So I'll continue just to use the same numbers here. So that's the same as writing five times five. So if I just quickly change my numbers, so for example, if I change number one to be uh, two, and I change number two to be um, 10, two to the power of 10 should be 1024. If I just run that program just to check. So I'll put in five and two for my other program. But as you see, I'll get two to the power of 10 there. So that's the same as writing two times two times two times two times two times two times two, times two, times two, times two 10 times. 